Okay, this is our fishing video. It's not about how to catch fish, but to how to use the internet to find places where we want to camp and fish at and uh, be able to research and save the information so that when we get there, we know what species of fish are there and where we want to actually set up and fish from. And the internet is great for this. So. Uh, all of our information here applies to anywhere you go. You just use the same technique. Now, here's Google Maps of New Mexico, and it's a wonderful state for camping and fishing. Just lots of resources for that. Uh, and so, first things first that we want to do is look into the most affordable way for us to go camping and that is using the uh, New Mexico State Park Pass. It's a great deal. It's uh, for out-of-state people it's $225 a year and that lets you uh, just stay at the state parks the entire year and uh, there's 35 of them so that's a lot of parks to visit and uh, uh, I think it's like 24 of them have fishing opportunities and they're going to be on lakes and reservoirs so this is a wonderful research. Now we want to go over to fishing game site for New Mexico and look up their licenses and uh, they're basically about the same as most states. Some are more expensive but this isn't bad. Uh, the out-of-state license is $56, and we're going to want to get the extra rod, uh, which is great to have for catfishing or whatever, bank fishing. It's nice to have two rods out. And then we have to get the habitat stamp and the habitat access stamp. And uh, this allows you to fish on BLM lands or national forests, any federal lands. It doesn't allow you to fish on tribal. You have to uh, typically have your license and then uh, the tribes will charge very little to fish on their lands. But now we know it's about 70 bucks, which is not bad for a whole year. And uh, even if we fished only 30 days out of the year, that would only cost 233 a day, which is amazingly good, affordable. Now we'll download the New Mexico Fishing Game Rules and Info for 2019, and that's going to tell us all the, the lakes and river restrictions, size limits, closures, all the important things that we, we need to know about in almost all states will put up their regulations in PDF form where you can download them. Yeah, it's really good to know this. So uh, next we'll look at uh, publiclands.org which is amazing, wonderful site. And this is the site that color codes uh, all the different lands. So you can look at BLM properties, national forests, tribal lands, lakes, reservoirs, and all of the icons you see can be moused over and it's going to give you the name of whatever the park or the BLM property is. And then you will want to double click on any of them and that's going to bring up uh, windows, little mini windows that will allow you to see all the particulars on that uh, particular area. It's going to tell you the latitude and longitude, The uh, if it's a lake for fishing, it gives you the fishing info, gives you the map uh, info if you want to buy the map for that area. It's a wonderful camping resource and it's great for fishermen too. So absolutely we'll leave the links for these down below but you need to check out public lands it's a great resource and once we figure out where we want to go we'll go right over to youtube and look at the 
the New Mexico Fish and Games actual channel, and that's going to give you a lot of details on fishing, on the state parks, just and detail that's uh, a little more pertinent on closures and sizes and than your typical YouTube fishing channel. Now here's Texas. They have their own main has it, Louisiana. It's a great way to check out. Now we're going to use Elephant Butte Lake as our example from here on now, how we go about this. So what we'll do next is we'll search uh, for fishing and we'll find all of the videos where the guys and girls are fishing on Elephant Butte Lake in the dam and watch those and save a lot of them and that's going to tell us the types of rods they're using, what baits, what lures. It's going to give us a good picture of what the lake looks like too. So wonderful resource and you should uh, definitely watch as many and save them too as you can. Now here's uh, all about fishing site and we're looking up Elephant Butte Reservoir and it's going to give us all the particulars. It'll tell us what fish they have. It will give us details on the state park and once we know what fish they have we know how to target them so we know what catfish are going to go for we know what bluegills eat and what how to catch a walleye so very important information and there are tons of websites for every state on this now here's fishing reports this is uh, a New Mexico and it gives you the information uh, as recent as they can give it for the different lakes and what people are catching. Uh, it's a wonderful, simple reports, and you can just click on the different dates for the updated one. The best thing to do is always check out a uh, fishing game site like here's New Mexico's, and they'll let you know on where they stock the fish, which is really nice, the latest fishing reports on stocking and they have the rules and info and even more important they'll tell you about closures and closures sometimes can be from heavy metals and poisons in the water so they don't want you eating the fish nor do you want to eat the fish so always check out uh, fish and game site for this type of info okay next now that we know we want to go to elephant butte lake State Park and Camp and Fish. We'll go over to Google Maps and search that out and take a look in top of view at the shoreline which we'll be fishing on. And it's a good way to get a picture of the conditions and the points and the deep water and basically read the water before we get there. Now, a lot of underused areas are going to have old pictures. You need to take that into account. They might be different, but still wonderful to basically see at this one marina. We can see shallow water and we can see deep water. And we know that if we're fishing uh, at particular times of year, we want to fish deep or shallow. It shows little. Uh, piers that we can fish at in this uh, point of land here which is a really nice thing to uh, fish from uh, certain times of day those fish who are cruising the shores are going to have to pass that point so it's going to be possibly easier to catch them so this is what makes Google Maps so nice and uh, so definitely check it out if you're a fisherman and also really good uh, even better is Google Earth they tend to have better images and you can do it online or download the free desktop version which we do and there's a good reason for doing this especially for fishermen and here's our desktop version and here's Elephant Butte here and you can see in that light green area that it's kind of opaque stitched together areas it's not uh, very uh, you can't really tell very much even if you uh, get close there for some reason around the marina 
probably because it's near the campground it seems to have a higher resolution so you just tighten up on this and uh, you can see that the uh, what date it was taken and you do get better resolution on Google Earth than you do Google Maps so we can see a lot more about that point and areas to fish at. Now the reason you want to download this instead of use the web is it's got uh, options where you can take uh, save little walking tours uh, little uh, computerized animations of the area to your computer snapshots and even better it's got the ability to look back in history it's kind of got a way way back machine where you can just slide the bar at the top and that's going to allow you to see the satellite images from a couple of years ago so if we just slide her back a little it's going to uh, take you back I think this was 2014 or, or 15 and you can see the water it appears to be a little higher back then and but at the same time it's not a very high resolution picture so uh, but it's still good to uh, look at these pictures simply because it's going to give you a historical perspective and you can look at it in horizontal move a mode and it works out great very good resource very cool stuff for sure now we want to show you a really neat thing and this is thanks to all the YouTube fishermen and their channels uh, we've become better at it ourselves and a few years ago a few of the guys were showing this Navionics uh, internet site and Navionics is a uh, uh, basically a boating fishing app where it shows you the uh, the points and it shows you the depth of the water and this is Elephant Butte Lake here so it does and you can see there's a whole area of no data and basically only some in the out in the lake a little and mostly it's info designed so you don't run aground in your boat lots of uh, underused areas don't have good mapping now here's an example of really good mapping and this is all free you can do this online and this is Lake Havasu in Arizona and since it has huge amount of boating and party boating and fishing they've mapped this thing right down to the shore I mean th this is very detailed maps and you'll find a lot of rivers in uh, really used rivers uh, will have equally detailed now this is right here uh, which is right off the uh, shore of uh, one of the Arizona State Parks right on Lake Havasu and it gives you a lot of detail so if you were staying here and you wanted to fish you can see the shallows and the deep water and super efficient good app to have and uh, but even so the uh, you get enough on uh, even the Elephant Butte which doesn't give you a lot of info but it helps a lot and I do have to thank you to the fishermen who turned us on to this and uh, you can get this app for your cell phones and uh, tablets and it's really affordable uh, for the US North America it's no more than fourteen fifteen dollars but we don't really suggest doing that on your cell phone uh, it's such a tiny screen I don't see how you could see the details but if you had a good sized tablet it'd be worthwhile but nonetheless just use the the uh, laptop based or you're on your computer and you'll just do fine you can okay after we do all that research uh, we know we're going to be away from the internet in a lot of these places and cell service isn't going to be very good and since we don't want to run to a library every five minutes or a Starbucks and research this again what we do 
is just create folders with all of this data. We take screenshots and download videos and uh, basically put them in a main New Mexico camping fishing folder which we can access anywhere. We can plan our trips this way. It's just a great important thing for whether you're camping or fishing or both. It's always good to uh, keep this information at hand and uh, so just remember we'll leave the links below and we think this is a great way to research and get ahead so we hope that helped a lot and uh, happy trails.